Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. For all complex numbers z and w, e to the z times e to the w is equal to e to the z plus w. Now, let's remind ourselves what e to the z is. We know that the limit of this sequence is equal to e to the z for every complex number z. And in proving this theorem, we are going to use the following preliminary result. Suppose zn is a sequence of complex numbers and z is a complex number. If the limit of zn is equal to z, then the limit of 1 plus zn over n to the power of n is equal to e to the z. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. To start of the proof, let's give ourselves two arbitrary complex numbers, z and w. From here, we want to prove that e to the z times e to the w is equal to e to the z plus w. Now from here, we are going to consider an arbitrary positive integer, n, and we observe the following. By properties of exponents, we know that this guy is just equal to this. But then if we expand out the inside, we're going to have 1 plus w over n plus z over n plus zw over n squared. Like this. And I'm actually going to swap these two guys around. So we have this. And then from the last three terms, we're going to factor out a 1 over n. In other words, we're just taking this guy and dividing it by n. So we have, for any positive integer n, this guy is equal to this guy. Now, notice the limit of the sequence z plus w plus zw over n is equal to z plus w. Because as n goes to infinity, zw over n goes to zero. So now we apply our preliminary result. And I'm going to call our preliminary result star. And so applying our preliminary result, we're going to take the sequence of complex numbers zn to be z plus w plus zw over n. And we're going to take z to be z plus w. The reason why is because we know that this sequence converges to z plus w. So because this is true, we can conclude that this is true. That is, we can conclude that the limit of this sequence is equal to e to the z plus w. But remember, these two values are equal for every positive integer n. Therefore, the sequence of these guys is equivalent to the sequence of these guys. So they must converge to the same value. But what is the limit of this sequence? Well, we know that this sequence converges to e to the z, and we know that this sequence converges to e to the w. And then, from the multiplication property of limits, it follows that the limit of this sequence is equal to the limit of this sequence times the limit of this sequence. But again, the limit of this sequence is e to the z, the limit of this sequence is e to the w. So we have shown that e to the z times e to the w is equal to e to the z plus w for arbitrary complex numbers z and w, which is exactly what we wanted to show. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.